Hey guys, Jeff from Pro Mar 9 here. Welcome to the third episode of my weekly vlog series. Summer season's upon us. The fishing's getting better here in SoCal. And today I'd like to talk to you about longer term bait storage at the, your docker slip. So during the summer, a lot of us fish multiple days. We pick up a lot of bait at the bait receiver or we make our own bait. By the end of that first day, we usually end up dumping the bait simply because we don't have a place to store the bait or we don't want to leave the bait pump running all night. Promar offers a solution for that. We do offer the NE738, which is a large capacity bait motel. It's 165 gallons. You can store lots of bait in here over multiple days. You can tie it directly to your dock or slip. Today I'll show you how to use it. I tied a piece of rope to the heavy duty rope handle. All you need is a four to five foot section of rope. You don't need a lot of rope, just enough to tie it directly to a cleat. Something that's not gonna deteriorate in the salt water or sunlight. I'm gonna show you how to throw in the water right now. All right guys, so I typically like to keep this at the front of the slip, away from the outside, protecting it from the boats and the wakes. I typically let enough line out so that way it's just at the sitting at the surface. All right, now that I got it tied off, I can take my bait from my previous fishing trip, take it out of the bait tank, open up this drawstring enclosure, throw in the bait, close it, and now the bait's gonna be healthy and lively for your next fishing trip. Now that I showed you how to set up the bait motel, I have these last three tips for you. First tip, you wanna get a long handled bait net like this LN412, the scientific bait dealer net, so you can easily scoop the bait out of your bait motel back into your bait tank. Second tip, before you even think about throwing any bait in there, I highly recommend leaving this in the water for at least a week, so that way it gets some algae growth. The algae is gonna hide it from sea lions or any other predators, so that way they won't steal your bait. And lastly, if you're gonna be leaving your bait in for an extended period of time, we actually picked this tip up from our local bait barge. You wanna feed them cornmeal. Cornmeal will keep them alive and healthy for an extended period of time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the next one.